Welcome back to the Bootstrapper's Guide. I'm Tori Norman, and today we're going to be doing something a little special. A couple of weeks ago, a viewer of ours, Stephen, asked us a question on our YouTube page. Stephen asks, Do you have any tutorials on how someone could set up Wave to keep track of commissions? I facilitate the sale of supplier products, but don't actually keep products myself. I then get paid a commission for the sale of their products, which could be literally hundreds. Sort of like a real estate agent. Well, Stephen, to answer your question, no, we didn't have a tutorial on this, but we do now. This is your tutorial on how to track commissions inside Wave Accounting for a brokered environment. Now, before we jump into Wave Accounting and actually look at how the transactions are made, I think it's important that we understand how transactions in general work in a brokered environment. When you're working in a brokered environment, there are essentially three key players. First of all, you have the supplier who provides the products and services. Then you have the customer who's interested in purchasing those products and services. And lastly, you'll have the agent, yourself, who helps broker the sale between the supplier and the customer. Now in this kind of an environment, the agent has a relationship with the broker to receive commissions every time he helps with a sale. He then goes out into the marketplace negotiates with customers, builds relationships with them, and understands their needs, takes those needs back to the suppliers, and negotiates a special deal for that customer and presents it back to them. When the customer approves of it, then they inform the supplier who then closes the sale with the customer. The customer then pays the supplier directly. Up to this point, no cash has changed hands with the agent. Once the sale is finalized, the supplier provides a commission payment back to the agent for helping facilitate the sale. In this kind of an environment, the agent has essentially two different kinds of customers. I call these direct and indirect customers. So your direct customers are those that actually transact cash with the agent. So in this case, a direct customer would be the supplier of the products and services because they are the ones that pay the agent for their services at the end of the day. But that's not to discount their indirect customers. The indirect customers are those that the agent is building a relationship with to help facilitate the sale. It's important to still build a strong relationship with your indirect customers or there will be no sale and no commissions earned from your direct customers. So these are both very important but very different types of customers and how you treat those customers depends on whether they're direct or indirect. Wave accounting is your accounting software. Accounting software was designed to help manage and track cash flow. So with the indirect customers, there is no cash flow. There are no transactions that would fit in Wave Accounting because no cash is changing hands. So it's usually not a good fit to put your indirect customers into your accounting software. So for purposes of Wave, we're actually going to ignore for a minute your indirect customers and focus only on those direct customers. So now that we understand that, Let's jump into Wave and see how we're going to handle our direct customer relationship inside of Wave Accounting. In order to use Wave Accounting for our commissions, we're going to need to add our direct customers into Wave as customers. As we mentioned earlier, the indirect customers are not going to show up anywhere in Wave. So to add our direct customers, we need to go up to the gear icon in the upper right, and select customers. And you can see that I've already created a couple of customers for my suppliers in Wave Accounting. So the next thing that we'll need to do is set up a product for our commissions. Now, you may not actually provide physical products. That may be all the supplier side, but you're still providing the service for which you're getting your commission payments. So we'll need to create a product for those commissions so that we can put them on our invoice and keep track of them. So if I click on the products tab, you can see I've created a simple commissions product that I can use for my invoices. And if I edit that, 
you'll see that I haven't created any price. That's because I'm assuming that the price of the commissions is going to vary depending on the product that I am selling. So I want to leave it at zero so that it stands out and reminds me to change it to be whatever the commissions payment I'm going to be receiving is um, each time I make a sale. So I just left that at zero. Once you have your product and your customers set up, you're ready to start creating invoices for your commissions to keep track of them in Wave. So every time you close a sale, as soon as you know what your commission payment is going to be, then you would come up into invoices and create a new invoice. We'll select the supplier that we're going to be receiving the commission from and the date that the sale was finalized, the date that we want to recognize the revenue. And then down in our products, I can choose commissions and I can set whatever the price is for the commissions that I'm going to be receiving. I can then save that invoice. Now, depending on your relationship with your supplier, it's possible that you don't actually need to send this invoice to anyone, but creating it helps you recognize the revenue and keep track of what commissions you're going to be receiving and it keeps your revenues in the correct period. At this point, it's just an invoice like any other invoice inside of Wave. So you can leave it sitting out there as a open invoice. And when you receive your commission payment from the supplier, you can come in to that invoice and add a payment for it. So let's just record a quick payment manually. We'll say that they paid us by a bank transfer. And at that point, the payment is fully received inside of Wave. And that is the entire process to tracking your commissions for your suppliers inside of Wave Accounting. So now you understand how to track commissions in a brokered environment inside of Wave Accounting. But we're still not done yet. We haven't addressed what to do with your indirect customers. Indirect customers are a pretty important relationship, and we want to make sure that we're tracking them right. Now in its simplest form, you could just track them inside of Excel. You can create a customer list. You can even create templates of invoices in Excel that you can use to provide to your indirect customers as you're brokering the sale. But in today's world, that's really not the best environment to be tracking that. My recommendation for keeping track of your indirect relationships is using a Customer Relationship Management Software, or CRM. A CRM is a database tool specially designed for tracking your customer relationships, hence the name. In a CRM, you can track prospective clients, current clients, any of your phone or email conversations with those clients, how close they are to closing the sale, and even have templates built into the software to provide invoices or estimates to your clients for the products and services that you're going to be brokering for them. It's a perfect environment because all of this relationship can be tracked and maintained, but separately from your accounting software, so no cash has to pass hands. Now, there are a lot of different types of CRMs out there in the marketplace. You can look at some name brands like Salesforce or Microsoft Dynamics CRM, but there's also several options for small businesses that are inexpensive or even free. I would recommend taking a look at Insightly. Insightly is a CRM designed for small businesses, and at its lowest level, it has a free version, which allows up to three users. For an agent environment, I think this is a really good place to start. This software will provide you with all of the resources that you need to track those indirect customers outside of Wave Accounting, so you can save Wave Accounting for just those transactions where cash is really passing hands. So hopefully this helps you understand a little better your environment as an agent and how to properly track your different relationships with both your direct and indirect customers. Now for the rest of our viewers, if you have an accounting related question, I would encourage you to do what Stephen did and ask us so that we can answer it here on the Bootstrappers Guide. You can ask us your questions via Twitter using the handle at ACCTLab or by email ask at ACCTLab.com or like Stephen did, simply comment right here on our YouTube page or blog. And don't be surprised if your question shows up in another episode of 
the Bootstrappers Guide.